Thank now it's so time well. for this week's special guest. Welcome, Mr. Deadstone. He me charge you stick at just and charge. But him always attack about Hitler. Is he just, just as far right as Farage? People, send, 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 send him out. Send, 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 send him out. Send him out. We must send out. Welcome, Mr. Deadstone. He me charge you stick at just and charge. But him always attack about Hitler. Is he just as far right as Farage? People, kick, 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 kick him out. Kick, 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 kick him out. Kick him out, kick him out, kick him out, kick him out. Sam the lead. Bless up. Former Mayor of London, uh, friend of the show, Ken Livingston. Welcome back. Now, Ken, this is the fourth time you've been on the show, and despite some cruel jokes and offensive remarks, we have let you back. <laughs> Ken, we were talking about housing just mm. then, and the common um, perception that... Uh, the UK, London mm. in particular, completely overpopulated. Is that true? Because to me, it that. looks like there's all sorts of space around the country yep. that we could build social housing on. Yep. When I became mayor in 2000, there were seven million Londoners. Now it's eight and three quarters. We're on our way to ten. And, I mean, we've got enough space in London, brownfield sites, to build a third of a million new homes. But you've got to build council housing. I mean... It's got to be stuff. So the point is, we're not actually overcrowded. We're just underfunded. Absolutely. If you actually look, I mean, New York, Paris, and London all got about eight million people. We cover twice the space. We are just about the least dense of the world's great cities. Mm. Eh? And there's an awful lot of that space is wasted. You don't want poor people to have to go, you know, 50 miles outside London or something. You want people to be able to live close enough to work so they can walk to work or cycle to work. Mm. Mm. So when you were mayor. What you, you weren't responsible for building social housing. You had to well, lobby government for that, and you I, didn't get the well, dough. I mean, I, I had the power to. Uh, when I became mayor, twenty-five percent of all new homes had to be affordable. I made that fifty percent. I mean, it was a struggle. We got it up to about forty-three percent at the end. Boris cut it back to twenty-five. Um, but I persuaded Blair and Brown to give the mayor powers over housing, and Brown offered £5 billion to start building new housing, but those powers kicked in I, at the election I lost to Boris. And so right. Boris could have had £5 billion to build thousands and thousands of homes. Brexit. Mm. Would the democratic thing for Theresa May to do now to just simply ride roughshod over the wishes of Parliament and implement hard Brexit because it will make her look good in front of UKIP voters? Well, if we have hard Brexit, that means in 2019 when we leave, it will be catastrophic. Suddenly, there'll be all these barriers. You, you're making a car in Britain, you'll put a 10% tariff on if you want to sell it in Europe. So you'd have a real dip in our economy. And that's in the run-up to the 2020 election. So I think the Tories may worry about this. The simple fact, though, in all of this about democracy is polls now show 6% of people who voted to leave think they made a mistake. So if you had another referendum now, the result might be quite different. People have seen the collapse in the pound. And I, prices starting to go up. I know. Last time I bought a bottle of wine, it wasn't as expensive as it is now. Ken, <laughs> when was the last time you bought a bottle of wine? Oh. Don't tell me it was on the way here. <laughs> no, I, I, I've got it waiting outside. I, I bet I, you're really... I imagine you buy quite inexpensive wine. Not because I'm well, saying you have a poor palate, no, because it's more the socialist thing to do. No, I mean, I, I never see any point in spending more than... You know, eight or nine quid on a bottle of wine. Uh, if you've got some wonderful palette and you know all the subtleties and all of that, that's fine. But you know, I'm just a working class oik from South London. I like my alcohol. <laughs> um, Ken, yeah, with Brexit, right? Like you say, the pound plummets, mm. inflation's up, there's chaos surrounding mm. us. No one mentions it. But the moment a couple of refugees looking older come into the country, <laughs> everyone goes bananas. I want you someone who's worked in public mm. life and been a socialist life to try and reinstill my faith that this country's population isn't just becoming sort of a, a horrible bunch of bastards. No, I mean, people are angry because, I mean, before Thatcher came to power, we had eight million jobs in manufacturing, good jobs, secure jobs, mainly for working class men. They often came with a pension. All that's been wiped out. We now got about two million. We were building 200,000 council houses a year so their kids could get somewhere. Now people... I mean, I grew up in a world where things always yeah, so, got better. So, now uh, they're getting worse. As a worse. result of that, though, but that's because have we bred generations no. of bastard, selfish no. racists? What you've got is the Daily Mail, the Telegraph, the Express, all saying, 
Foreigners have taken our jobs and our homes. No, they haven't. Our governments have failed to create good jobs and build new homes. And we should be blaming the politicians, not some poor migrant from you know, a, a village in Afghanistan. Good stuff. Thank Ken, you, Ronnie. as always, thank you ever so much for joining us. Thanks also to my panel tonight, Holly Byrne, Maddie Anholt and Ian Lee. Just enough time to sing you out with the best song ever written. an easy lover you'll get a hold on you believe it like no other before you know it you'll be on your knees Woo! easy lover she'll take your heart but you won't feel it like no other and I'm just trying to make you see